Hey guys, so today I have my glam bag video for February. This is a little late. I actually got the bag on Thursday. Today is Monday, but in case you haven't noticed, I haven't uploaded in a very long time. I actually got the flu, uh, which I had kind of thought was just like a regular cold that people just complained about a lot. It's not. Um, I was like down in bed out of work for three days and then the weekend, but I didn't have to work on the weekend anyway. Uh, then I ended up going to the doctor and the medicine that they gave me I had a reaction to, so I got even more sick and it was really bad. It was probably close to three weeks ago that I got sick and I am just now able to speak normally. You can still hear it a little bit in my voice, but you guys probably won't notice. And, you know, the cough is finally controllable. I wanted to film before now, but I would have to spend hours editing coughs out, like, every two seconds. And now I'll probably only have to edit out, like, one or two. So, I did get my glam bag on Thursday, which is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I didn't film it on Thursday, but I'm filming it today. So, the theme for this month's bag is the look of love, which is fitting. And, uh, just has the little card in there that lists all of the brands and the little take a picture and hashtag ipsy to win stuff thing. So the first thing in here is a blush and it was wrapped in like a little bubble wrap bag. And this is the City Color Be Matte Blush in the color Fresh Melon. And it's actually a really like good size. And granted I don't know how like deep the pan is, but it is pretty big around. I will do close up swatches of all of these, but this is just a very nice matte melon color. And it's like, it's really, really bright. Uh, for melon. I guess I always picture something a little more um, dusty or muted when I think of melon, but this is actually really bright. The next thing in here is a IPKN Network Moist and Firm BB Cream. Um, I did, okay, this is in the color light. I got this and I opened it up because I wanted to see uh, how well the color matched my skin because I am very fair and light still tends to be a little too dark for me. I, want, I don't know if you can see from here, but I will do it in a close-up as well. I am squeezing, 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 squeezing. My fingers are like touching on the bottom here and on the top. Oh, there it is. This is practically empty, and it came to me pretty much empty. It also, it's a little too dark for me anyway, so it's not a huge loss, but I mean, come on. The tube is like almost empty already, and I have not used any of it, um, just enough to put over the back of my hand. and. When I tried to get that, I had to like squeeze the tube like crazy, so that sucks. Uh, the next thing in here is a full-size Zoya nail polish, and let me talk about this for a second. I saw on Facebook that there were two different colors of these nail, this nail polish that you could get. They're both from the Zoya Awaken collection, which is the spring collection, which is out now, but was not out when we got the bags, or at least they weren't shipping, they had done pre-orders. Um, but anyway, there were two colors. Um, there was a really pretty light baby pink color, and then more of like a dusty darker, like, purple color, not dark, dark, but I wasn't interested in the purple. Anyway, and I went into my glam room on ipsy.com to see what products I was getting, and it said that I was getting the dark purple. Granted, it didn't, like, say it anywhere, but it showed the darker purple nail polish in the pictures, and in my experience, every time there is an option between colors of a product, the, uh, whatever color is shown in my glam room is the color that I get in my bag. And I've been getting Ipsy bags for, I think this is the third February that I've gotten bags. Like I started in January. So it's like three years now. And it's never been wrong. So it showed that I was getting the purple color and I was kind of bummed out. And like, well not bummed because it's still a full size Zoya. But I was just like, oh, you know, wish I had my preference. Got it in the mail. Boom. It's the pink color. <laughs> I was so excited. It was just a nice little surprise. I don't know if it was a mistake or if the glam room was a mistake, but it was a happy mistake, so I'm going to take it. This is Dot, and it is just a really, really gorgeous pastel kind of baby pink color, and I have a lot of Zoya in my collection. I love Zoya. They last a very long time, and the formulas are usually really good. And that is Zoya's Dot, and full-size Zoya's are $9 on their own now, so it's a deal. So the next thing in here is... What is this? is I think it's like Eye Teeny or Shadow Teeny, I don't remember, but it's Nail Teeny's eye products and it's a liquid eyeshadow and it is in the color Ambrosia and, or Ambrosia, I don't know. Uh, it's like a doe foot applicator um, 
liquid eyeshadow or eyeshadow base or whatever you want to call it. It's a very, very shimmery, almost like a uh, copper mixed with purple color. I honestly don't know how I feel about this, <laughs> if I'd ever find myself using it or not. I might have to go online and look up some more information on it just to see like details, if it's supposed to be creaseless or you know what their pitch is for it so I know whether or not it's a product that I will be reaching for. But right now, I'm kind of on the fence about this. And the last product in here is from Pop Beauty, and this is a lip gloss, I believe, in the color Peony Petal, and it's this kind of weird wedge-shaped tube. It's not squeezable at all, and it's one of those, like, not quite doe foot, kind of like shovel-ended. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a flat doe foot. It has no angle to it. This is like a really nice, like, coral-ish, more pink than coral, dusty kind of color. I'm really bad at describing colors. Lilith, come on now. Did that hurt? But it does seem to be extremely pigmented, judging by the swatch. So yeah, that is my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of February. I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but the flu really, really sucks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Bye.